What is up all you try hard gamers? So I don't think I've done a video like this before uh, on this topic at least. I know I've done a, a video on the topic of mining but not really mining builds. Um, this one is really in my opinion like the perfect laser mining setup. Uh, you don't really need much but I'll just go through like some of what I have so that you guys can see what I'm taking out there. Um, keep in mind you do not have to have a cutter. You do not have to have a cutter, okay? Um, the general rule, and this is just my own rule, is if you're laser mining, you want the most cargo possible, okay? If you are core mining, a smaller cargo uh, will help because you're generally bringing in uh, more valuable per tonnage, okay? So let's go through this. Lightweight alloys, if you want to, you can up that up that to maybe reactive surface composite. It's going to cost you an ass load though, so uh, keep that in mind. 8A power plant, it's going to be overcharged. Uh, drag drives, dirty drive tuning. Um, this is going to be definitely for range. And this is going to be charging hands. Uh, to be honest with you, since you're not really fighting that much, uh, you could go weapons focused because basically the main thing that you're going to be looking at is your recharge on your uh, mining lasers. So that's something to keep in um, to consideration. And then uh, just 7A sensors. You can derate this if you don't have the money. Okay, so obviously this goes without saying. Um, 256 is at the top. A 64, 6C bi-weave shield generator, um, 3C mining multi-Olympic controller, this is really handy, uh, 5H guardian frame shift drive booster, 5A fuel scoop, go ahead and put a 5 in here rather than a 4, uh, I didn't have one on hand, I've got it in another ship, so... Um, that's going to increase your integrity for a refinery and a detailed surface scanner. And if you don't like flying this giant thing through the slot, advanced docking computer. Okay, so I've got shield boosters on here and you may be asking why I've got that on a miner. Here's the reason. When you're in an anarchy system, <coughs> Um, when you first jump in somewhere, there are going to be hostile targets that will spawn, okay? And you want to make sure you have a little bit of defense on your ship. Now, um, the problem is that if you mine your stuff in that, that ring or whatever and then log out and log back in, um, more hostile ships will spawn and because you have tonnage in your inventory they will attack you if you don't drop your um, tonnage so you want to have a little bit of defense on this thing I hardly hardly have any shields on this thing whatsoever but it's an it's just enough to where I can defeat whatever's out there um, and then go back to mining okay so um, if you want to upgrade these shield boosters you're more than welcome to do that and we do have the power to be able to to um, uh, accommodate that as well. Pulse wave analyzer. Um, you could go ahead and take this off. I probably shouldn't have that on there because I'm not doing any core mining on this build. And then a heat sink launcher, and then I've got an empty slot here, so you can go ahead and put in a, another shield booster, and then um, engineer those. Okay, so very simple. I've got a couple slots for defense to take targets out that are hostile. And then the rest are mining lasers, okay? Sorry, I had to take a drink of something. Now, the mining lasers, when you have four on here like this, it drains uh, the asteroid in no time flat. <coughs> Most of your time is go going to be spent gathering everything through collector limits um, but for the the defense part of it I just got a 4A multi-cannon overcharged 
corrosive shell. Two pulse lasers, uh, both turrets, and they are long range fa phasing sequence. Okay? So that's about it. If you guys have any questions, uh, make sure you send them to me on uh, YouTube. We are so close to the, the thousand subscriber mark, guys. So subscribe if you would. All right, you guys have a fantastic day.